again we are ready to fulfill our aim to reach to our aim what is our aim all creations so many creatures creatures in the form of plant kingdom animal kingdom in the form of energy kingdom molecule kingdom in the form of we intellectuals in the form of dedicated to god if all creatures in the creation the complete universe they have only one aim how to maintain our existence Gurudev Swami Tejasvi writes in the Holy Science. Each and every having the only one aim: how to maintain existence with the complete knowledge. We do not want to live like a stone. We want conscious state, and that conscious state should bring realization of bliss. consciousness means that i should feel okay all right let us imagine that any stone and water they are able to feel is sky and air they are able to feel yes they are able to feel one example this is the helium atom two proton inside nucleus and two electron proton they exist within nucleus but they are not having desire to mix together you can say they look like same but they have power how to keep separate one proton if they move in this way next proton will move in this way if one proton move in this way next will move in this way this is called the this is called the power of ego and the, this is called the ahamkar same is about electron also they are also having this this is clockwise this is anti clockwise when try to change a spin of one electron fellow electron automatically changes its spin it means they have consciousness this consciousness for what i want to maintain my existence i am electron i want to remain electron i am this i want to remain this when i mix with this if this is mixing with this then they don't like it why they do not like to mix that is called the power of ego that is ahankar try to understand this each and every creature of the cosmos each radiation maybe sound wave or any kind of radiation invisible radiation visible radiation any all kind of particles like electron proton atom molecules they have their desire to maintain their existence they do not want to mix with them okay all right we have great love this is the hydrogen this is oxygen they want to mix together Okay, I like that. What we realize is to still they are separate. They mix together H two and oxygen. Then try to find out them. Still we can find out. Have electrolysis, you will get hydrogen oxygen. They never like to become one. Always they are one like water, but still they are not one because. when you do the process of electrolysis then what happens again this hydrogen oxygen you will find separate therefore try to remember the all structures all creatures existing in the creation the cosmos and the universe they have this great longing desire they want to maintain existence without consciousness they cannot maintain existence 
If there is no consciousness, the chances are becoming one, and both electrons will merge together. But they do not want to merge. Both protons they will merge together, but they do not want it. If this consciousness helps, when they fulfill their desire, they feel bliss. Yes, bliss, great joy. I exist. Moment I realize I exist. I am existing. I was there. I will remain. There is no death. That gives perception of bliss. This is the nature. What problem we face? Problem we face that we have misinterpretation. Therefore, this holy science textbook is created. What is written here? Christ. Sutra eighteen. Gospel first chapter. Gospel Vedas. Sutra eighteen. What is written? Sannyasi or the Christ anointed savior. Anybody who attain the stage of Kavalya, they are Christ. They are true sannyasi. Therefore, Christ means true sannyasi. What is meaning of true sannyasi? Who is liberated from all bondage? That is true sannyasi. What are the bondages? In the gospel, in the procedure, Sutra twelve to eighteen. What is the bondage? Why we are not liberated? Because we are guided by hatred. Hatred. What is hatred? I hate myself. How? I do not realize my existence. That had to toes its presence of power, infinite power, omniscient consciousness is manifesting in the form of head to toes. Omnipotent consciousness is manifesting in the form of head to toes. And I say, I hate myself. How I hate myself? Oh, this is very hard work. I cannot do. I want some work which is very easy going. I want a lot of money. I want less work. In other words, I hate myself. I can do anything. Select the hardest work. What is the hardest work? Let us decide. This planet should be free from this competition of manufacturing weapons, selling weapons, purchasing weapons, or trying to get license. Why we are having these things? We want to kill someone. This is not allowed. If you are having thought of killing someone, you cannot realize you are immortal. Remove all thought of killing and destroying. You will realize your real nature that you are existence. You are eternal. You were present before. You are today. You will remain present future. Sutta number twelve to eighteen. What explains? I am telling only one word: hatred, ghuna. And all are having. If you are having hatred, you will feel shyness to do good work. Let us do cleaning. Everybody is trying. How can I do cleaning? This is called low work. No, no work is low or high. All works are equally great. Even cleaning is the highest work. But I feel shy. I can't do it. That is called the bondage. In the same way, so many other bondages. I have fear. Why I get fear? Because I don't realize myself. Head to toes is presence of complete unit of knowledge, power, eternal peace, and bliss. Immortal consciousness is present in this form. I don't practice it. I don't believe in this. Then I have fear of losing myself. This is the bond is hatred, <coughs> shame, fear, jugupsa means condemnation. I criticize everybody. You are not good. You are not good. You are not good. Hold the class from the kindergarten up to the end. They only call hatred. Jugupsa condemnation, first division, second division, third division, pass and fail. What is what is this? How you can say that head to toes is ambition consciousness? How you can say you are fail? How can you say it? The complete education system is teaching the process of condemnation, comparison is not good. Next thing, 
I belong to the higher caste or lower caste. Oh, my father was so great. Your father was not great. Oh, my father, father was so weak. Your father was great. I, my luck is not good. Your luck is good. All these things is called the bondage. Therefore, if you are Christ, you are free from all bondage. They were true sannyasi. Each of him of each and every person to reach to the height of Christ, to reach to the height of true sannyasi, that is called the cavalry. Kavala Darshanam, aim to become Christ, aim to reach to the height of sannyasi. Then how to reach to the height of sannyasi? We have false faith. What is false faith? Oh, this is my a piece of a stone. It is my savior. We call the false belief. False faith. What is meaning of faith? Oh, let us sprinkle water, baptize. Now you are baptized. How you can get baptized by sprinkling water? Oh, I put a tikka, oil tikka. I baptize you. This is called the false faith. What is the real faith? When you have eternal patience, that is called shraddha. Sadha is called the eternal patience. This is called the Sadha. If you have eternal patience, never say I cannot do it. Never say this is tough work. Never say it. Take the hardest work and let us think that you can do it. Then you have Sadha. That Sadha we need. Sadha does not mean I believe that this piece of this structure is my savior. They call the false belief. When I am sick, why I go to the doctor? You are holding this, it will heal you. But no, we are going to the doctor. You have fallen down, your leg is broken, you are having protector. How you broke your leg? We need orthopedic surgeon to fix it. Therefore, the sadha false sadha, false belief, false faith is creating problem in our life. Then how to get real faith? Faith is thy healer. When somebody touches Jesus Christ, one lady was just trying to come to see the Jesus Christ. It's a big crowd, she couldn't reach. Somehow she touched the dress and she got healed. Oh, master, master, I got healed. Moment I touched you, I got healed. Notice, thy faith healed you. What do you mean, thy faith healed you? You have eternal patience. You believe. You have eternal patience, eternal courage. You practice no condemnation. You criticize no one. You are charged with the supreme love of God. Because of this, you are healed. But Jesus Christ said, thy faith healed you. That faith we want. We do not want false faith. We do not want false belief. That false belief, false faith just misguiding us. Do not worry. I say, oh, I am on this earth and God will take me. I will go. Nobody can stop me. If you understand it, then you are Paramahansa Yogananda. Then you are Lahri Mahasaya. You are Jnanatha Samikteshagiri. But you are not that. Still you say that, oh, the day I have to go, I will go. Nobody can kill me before that. Then all right, then don't have any, in the winter season, do not have quiet coat. When I'm walking on the road, do not have fear. No truck, no bus will damage you. Try to jump the ocean because your departure is fixed. But we are not going to demonstrate this experiment. Oh, you know, the day is fixed. I will be born on a certain date. Tell me. I will do a operation. You will have before birth. Oh, if this person is going to die just after five minutes, I will give life support. 
he will be alive few hours more. They call the false belief, false faith that is damaging to all human beings. What Lord Krishna said, what Lord Himasa said, what Jesus Christ said, what Gyanata Samitya Sagri said, what Paramahansi Yogananda taught in all over the world, that you have to work. You have to work to protect you. You are walking on the road. You should learn how to protect you. Whatever work you are doing, you should learn science of protection. No mean become expert of science of protection, then you are in golden consciousness. They call Sati Yuga. This is the real teaching. Therefore, you should be aware that false faith, false belief is very damaging. Then how to protect ourselves? You are having Kriya Yoga meditation. Practice Kriya Yoga meditation. You cannot practice this until you decide to serve others. When you serve others, you cannot serve others until you accept the first verse of holy science. It is Parbham who has become all. If you are going to serve someone, if you believe that one is the great because Parbham has become that one, then only you can serve. Otherwise, there will be hypocrisy. You will serve, but that is not giving a service. This is the important point. I request again all of you, try to cultivate synthesize Sraddha. Sraddha means eternal patience, infinite patience. Try to demonstrate infinite patience with the practice of Kriya Yoga. Practice more and more every day. One day will realize you can practice 24 hours. Want to practice 24 hours, you reach to the height of Christ. He became true sannyasi. That is what we want. But at present, you may not be, no problem. Banat, banat, ban jai. Practice and practice, you will reach one day. This is the important point. I am double breathing, kari, feel kari, omniscient consciousness, omnipotent, eternal peace and bliss in the form of head to toe, changes within. Let us bow down to our devotion in practicing Kriya Yoga, in helping Kriya Yoga, spreading Kriya Yoga worldwide to bring peace on this planet. Now we'll sit. Open eyes.